Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys some of my very favorite kitchen items. Some do save me money and are frugal, but some are just some of my favorites, so I'm going to get right into it. One of my very favorite kitchen items, and I may not use it a lot, but I love it, and it's from my mom, blessed memory, is this fabulous Nordic Ware Bunt Pan. It is wonderful. It's still in phenomenal shape, and I absolutely love it. And cakes and anything I make in here just slips right on out. Love it. Another thing that I really like, and there's several of these that you can purchase, but none are the as good as these. I know I got these from Pampered Chef years ago. I don't know if they still sell them, but if they did, I would buy another pair, and I'd probably buy each of my friends one. I have had all different types of what I would call oven mitts, and many of them you still feel the heat through the mitt. These are wonderful. I've had them for well over 20 years. And yeah, they, you can kind of tell by looking at them, but there's no other mitt that is as good as these. They're thick. You don't feel any heat through these. So I absolutely love these. Another thing that I like because I try not to buy anything pre-chopped because if you do your chopping at home of your fruits and vegetables, you really save a lot of money. So I use a little chopper. I have one of these other little things that chops on top, but it's way up high. I can't reach it right now, but so you guys kind of get the idea with this little blade in here and it's pretty easy to clean too. And so I can chop all different types of things and I have another one that's bigger than this. I love any device that does some of the work for me. I know I've mentioned this on many videos, but I have a Chicago cutlery knife this knife is fabulous and it cuts through so many hard things like squash, cantaloupe, any type of melon. It is really good and I know it's good and let me tell you why. Sometimes when I do product demos, they have equipment there that I need to use because they don't want you bringing equipment from home. And many of the knives I've had to use there are not that good. And this one is just phenomenal. This would be something else that I would buy as a gift for someone. Now, here's something else that I use whenever I have to use egg whites. I know you can use your hands and there's other methods, but I have this egg separator. I, I love this thing. I won't ever get rid of it, and it's something I actually use, and it makes separating yolk from egg a lot easier than doing the hand method. Okay, something else I absolutely adore is if we have ice cream, we have a really good ice cream scoop that actually softens the ice cream, and it has a mechanism in it that does it. Now, I do not dishwasher this, though. You have to hand wash it. Okay, I know a lot of folks use parchment paper when baking. I do not use parchment paper, paper because I bought reusable ones, and I've had these forever, and I've actually purchased these as a gift for someone. They are wonderful. They wipe up easily, and I don't have to keep buying paper. So I really like them. Let me know if you guys use these. Also, off topic. Do any of you buy reusable Ziploc bags? And if so, do you like them? Okay, something else that I wasn't using, but I've been using a lot, is a waffle maker. Why? Because it's fat, it's easy to use, and it's fast and easy, and you can do a lot in it besides waffles. I've made pizzas in this. I've made all different kind of breakfast foods in this. You can do a lot more with a waffle maker than you think. Another thing I love and you can use this with cheaper meats too, by the way, is this meatloaf pan. And what I like is it drains the grease off with this, which I really like this a lot. And then you can lift out the meatloaf in the pan, and then the grease is at the bottom. So let's say you got meat on sale that's, you know, 85 and uh, 8,500, and it has grease in here you won't, and it will be leaner because all the grease is going to drip at the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but I like really lean ground beef. Okay, so this definitely I love. Okay, last but not least, one of you suggested this to me. I love it. I got it off Amazon. I do think it's in my Amazon store, but this little organizer, I absolutely love this thing. It just keeps everything nice and neat on my sink. These are just a few of my favorite kitchen items. Obviously, I love having a coffee maker. I love having a slow cooker. Love all that stuff. But I just wanted to pick out a few items that might be not in everyone's kitchen. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite kitchen items? You know I love to hear from you. 
That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.